got you to offer this one. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mo! You can hear the youth beat pounds as they race across the ground. And the clatter of the wheels as they spun round and round. And he galloped into Market Street, his badge upon his chest. His name was Herbie, and he drove the fastest milk cart in the West. Now Herbie loved a widow, a lady known as Sue. She did all the loan at the Lee Lane at number 22. She said she was good and thrift, she was pretty hard and cheap. But Herbie and his cocoa there, three times every week, they called him Herbie. She liked to bathe the milk, he said, All right, sweetheart. And then one morning after he loaded up the car. He said, Do you want it pasteurized? Because pasteurized is best. She said, Ernie, I'll be happy if it comes up to me chest. Don't take him over, Ernie. Ernie! And he drove the fast milk car in the west. Now, Ernie had a rival, an evil looking man. Two times and pretending to him, he drove the baker's back. He tempted her with his pickle tarts and his tasty old meal bread. For which to see the signs we all been pointed very nearly to the end. She nearly swooned in his back room, he said, pretty intriguing, right? You will have hot rolls every morning and crumpets every night. He said, I nearly once and some of his came, he had his wicked way. But on her, he had to offer was a pint of milk a day. Poor Ernie. Outside the door, he drew in mad to find it was still there at half past four. And as he let down from his bag of blood, the maid did force and threatened off to hurt his car and did not kick his horse, whose name was Trigger. Trigger! And he pulled the fastest milk car in the west. Now Bernie rushed into the street, his gold top in his hand. He said, If you want to marry Susie, you fight her for like a man. Well, why don't we pick cards for our each thing or every pie? And just to make it interesting, we'll have a shilling on the slip. Now, Ernie dragged him from his hand and beneath the blaze of the sun. He stood there face to face and said, wait for his bun. For Ernie was to quit things to do the way to plan. And a strongly flavored yogurt sent it spinning from his hand. Poor Ernie. Oh, a Yes. Yeah. 